spooky salutations, you beautiful buck shakers, you. And welcome back to Crundle's Adventures in Betrayal of the Flesh, the Caves of Cud playthrough. When last we left off, we made it to the Six Day Stilt, we traded in some books, we leveled up to reach level 12, and now we're going to find out what kind of Six Day Stilt we're going to be working with for the rest of this playthrough. What we got here? Dorixes. In 2337 BR, Dorixes, the woe of Sashur, mate of Arazer, died of natural causes. He was 62 years old. Good for you, bud. So, so far, we got what? I, I, mean, I know we got someone that sells grenades here. And we got someone that sells, what was it, gloves? Nope, it's a smoke shop. So, so far, we've just got grenades, right? Yep, just grenades, but we've only been on this one screen. Let's start exploring. All right, campground two. Let's see what we got here. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure that's a, uh, a cybernetics salesman there. Right here, that one. Oh, near the location of a ball. Shadats III was captured by bandits. He murdered their leader by inventing and releasing clockwork beetles, and was thenceforth known as Quill Shouter. And one star evening, a babe was found swaddled with his mouth full of circuits by a group of beetles in Red Rock. They took him into their fold and fostered him. He became known as Reshef, the coiled lamb of beetles. Always nice finding Reshef stuff, because that's free experience. All right, we have an apothecary, a gutsmonger, an anchor merchant, and of course, a food vendor. Let's talk to the apothecary. We are uh, not doing great when it comes to having healing items. You may recall. <laughs> Let's trade. I'm pretty sure in the terms of medicine, I got one herbary. Yeah, that's it. That is it. Small gold fleck tube, two of them. A platinum tube. I think Platinum Tube might, might, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know which one might be what we want. That said, I can get six Witchwood Barks. That would certainly help. 114. What can we sell? Well, that's 90 drams right there. 106 drams. All right, we're good. In fact, I might even want to... Work my way from the top down. Get rid of stuff that isn't trade goods first. Leather armor. Some stuff I'll never be able to use because I am not some filthy cyborg. Spring turret grenade. Oh. I might want to hold on to that. We'll see. All of this garbage. As long as it doesn't have any cells inside of it. Painted bronze longsword. Slender bronze dagger. Kukuris. Steel longsword. I will hold on to the two-handed iron longsword. 1d8 damage. Not too bad. Maybe I will throw the chem cell in the pile. It's really hard to decide. Eh, yeah, let's throw it. <laughs> we'll just throw it out there. Hmm. Is a car rifle is for me. Could be important one day. Up to 102 drams. Alright, now I just need to throw a bracelet on there. I'll make a little bit of money in return. Cool. We have some emergency witchwood bark. And we're still not totally out of money. Might be able to make, uh, make some other purchases. We're going to look at the Icker Merchants and the Kipper. Just in case. Never know what you're going to find. Bark biter jerky. A recipe book. Ding so Mafio shakes his head unabridged. Anything truly amazing in here? Not really. Like nice, nice food items, but nothing I'm going to like lose my mind over. And just in case they have something incredible, because I do have a love injector. Who's to say we won't do something a little bit crazy? 
What did I got? Wine, acid, green goo, nothing worth making a dangerous call over. I, I would love to find a recoiler, but I doubt we're going to find a recoiler. All right, what we got on this screen? Got some shoes, got another food vendor. Sure, a lot of food. <laughs> Excuse me. Sure, a lot of food vendors. Oh. As I may have mentioned, getting over being sick and allergies are always plaguing me. We got a book fire, a book binder, a chef. Man, we got nothing here that I'm interested in. Let's get out of here. We are getting a little hungry, but I think we could tough it out until we've looped and then we'll just eat at Lula Heart. Get the Lula Heart quest, because why not? Maybe we'll swing by Bela. Maybe we won't. I don't know. Bela doesn't like us, but Bela never likes you. <gasps> a gun salesman. See that that has some potential. A gun smith. Hello, Mr. Smith. Uh, how many lead slugs do I have? Eh. I got 239 lead slugs. I'll buy 107 more. Some kind of gun, but we don't know what kind. Alright, five drams. Where's that stupid spring grenade? That's perfect. Done. Uh, alright. Well, on to the next one. Well, we got either that's ichor or food. Honey. This is not a very exciting six day still so far. I would love to find a schematics vendor. But unless we get a recoiler to come back here, we're not going to make too many trips to six day still. It's a long trek to the desert. In early 2379 BR, Dorixis challenged the legitimacy of the Sultan of Cud over the ordinance of prohibiting the practice of imposing one's will. He won and took the reins of power. He was 20 years old. What did you do when you were 20 years old? Were you Sultan? I don't think so. Me? I was Sultan for a time. It was pretty bad. I didn't do a good job. Did not do a great job. All right, it was a kipper. This is the worst six day stilt ever. Come on, baby, one schematics vendor, just one. Wait, if someone else falls asleep and plays the going to bed music, that's fun. Not even music, it's a sound effect. A little, little chimey, tinkly noise. The grenade salesman went to bed and I heard I heard the sleeping sound. That was weird. Wow, nothing here. We've got we've got robbed. Almost the last screen. And then we'll have a feast. A feast, I say. This is nightmarish. Nightmarish. Let me, let me just check. Yep, that was a kipper. And what are you? A, a wine salesman, a vintner. This is ridiculous. There's nothing. What a bad six day stilt. All right, shoes. Those aren't the worst thing, I guess. Come on, schematics. A hookah? A worm salesman? Come on. Another food salesman? A cat wrangler? What do you sell, cat wrangler? Floating glow sphere. It's a weird thing for you to sell. Wow. 
No schematics vendors in the entire place. That's kind of crazy. Some hot and spiny. Hold a moment, friend. Are you looking for work? I am always looking for work. Oh, lovely. Take a seat. Chew the bark with me. I'll tell you what I know. I've heard tell that my ancestral homeland, Bay La, is in some kind of trouble. They've opened their borders for the first time I know of and are specifically seeking to hire Kendron. That's their word for dirty outsiders like you, you dirty, dirty man. Would you be willing to go and see what they need? Yeah, sure, why not? Bless you, friend. I feel better knowing that at least one Kendron will reach back to aid my kin. They're on the cusp of a new fate, and I wish to see it while I yet live. Let me advise you of Bela's location. Here's a little chew boon for your trouble. Oh, yeah, thanks. Let me immediately uh, ferment that bad boy. All right. Take a look at the map. Where to put Bela? There's Bela. Pretty low. So I'm thinking uh, this is probably our next destination. Could be dangerous, but it could also have wild treasures beyond our imagining. So that's pretty, pretty desirable. There's also. So sure slums up here. We're kind of close to the slums right now. Like not not too far away. Trying to decide uh, what's what's the ideal play. We could teleport back and walk to this one. And then Bela's on the way to Gritgate. And then we're kind of midway to the next one. The other options we walk to this one, then we teleport back to town. Hmm. Let's go to this one. We're, we're close enough. We have a, a, a tr we have a recoiler. We can get out of there. If it turns out to be Daisy. All right. You know, before I do that, let's think. One, two, three. We want to go four parasangs down until we get to the bronze 30th Shapad. And from there, we want to pass through two parasangs worth of canyon. And then three parasangs of flower fields. And then we're right there. So we're traveling until we get to Bronze 30th Shapat. Uh, I'm tempted to get more water before we go. Because what do we got right now? You know what? We got all these nice little categorical things now. But also, collapse ammo, collapse cells. Let's just collapse a bunch of stuff. Alright, as far as water goes, we only have 47 drams of water. That's not a large amount. And I know we're gonna burn through it, so I think we're gonna we're gonna sell just kind of garbage to somebody. Just to make more water. I know we've already done this once, but... The desert sucks, and we're gonna be in there for a while. Hmm... I'm running out of stuff to sell, though. Yeah, it's getting a little rough, huh? Well, we got We got some copper nuggets. Let's sell 30 drams worth of copper nuggets. That should keep us... Keep us flush through the desert. Alright, let's go. So uh, I noticed there was a road. I'm thinking I got to go to the right, but like I could peek on the curve of the road and it leads to Bathes Upon Oil, a legendary Isakari raider. Interesting. I wonder if like roads are a good indication of points of interest that we might want to follow. But also we're raiding the Isakari raiders now. 
That's what's happening now. That rifler to the left didn't notice us. Because we're going to make some good money by doing this, I think. Just peek around corners. Shoot some fools. I'll wait until we've cleaned the place out before we auto-explore and collect a lot of our prizes. For, oh! Woo! Sorry, buds. Come back when- oh, well, you're dead, so you can't come back at any point when you're better. That's my bad. That was kind of mean of me to say to you. Let's kill them all, boss! Let's kill them all! I, I don't think I like you, little head. Yeah, he's a freak. I don't think I like you, second head. I was normal before I came here. Ooh! Our last one. Okay. This is tricky. This is... Tricky. This is our last... Last unstable genome right here. So the question is... What do we want? A new body part with electromagnetic pulse. It's tricky because I believe this will also... Disable our own things. So if we pulse... And we're using a lot of electronics. We're probably going to be in trouble. But we get a new body part, and it is a nice way to, like, shut down some later dangerous things. So that's not the worst idea. The body part's really what I'm interested in. Horns! They count as short blade weapons. They get us some rep with antelopes and goat folk. But we, we lose the ability to wear helmets. We do gain some AV, which ain't the worst. But horns are pretty low on my list. Burrowing Claws. They destroy walls after four penetrating hits. They count as short blade weapons. It doesn't prevent us from wearing gloves at all. The thing is, being able to cut through walls without needing to waste an equipment slot for a pickaxe is kind of nice. Hmm. Disables artifacts and machines, so like turrets, scary shit like a chrome pyramid, if we could lure one around a corner, this is a good way to like shut it down. Hmm. It's really like, if we can get another arm, I'd be very happy. But I think I might take borrowing claws. Being able to cut through walls is pretty sweet. I'm gonna do it. Going for borrowing claws. Oh, what is this? What's wrong with my hands? Oh, God. Oh, those look cool. I don't like that. It's really close to me, though. Shut up. Both of you shut up. I hate you. you. Really make me uncomfortable. Let's think. Let us let's focus here for a second. We do have four mutation points, and again, like, when it comes to leveling things up, electrical generation's nice just so we have additional charge, but that's not super important right now. Double muscle's the one that, if we're putting points in the things, it's gonna be double muscled. Two-headed, I'm fine with the base level of it just kind of being nice for shaking off mental effects. But otherwise, kind of useless to us. It's nice that if our head gets cut off, the game doesn't end. We have three heads. We could lose our heads twice. Height and quickness. We might put more points in this. It, it's not bad being faster. Stinger. Probably never going to level that up on purpose. It'll probably happen by mistake. Multiple legs. This will probably get leveled up a little bit. Burrowing claws. Probably not going to do it on purpose, but it'll happen by mistake. But I think for right now, we're going to we're going to get a new mutation. Just see what happens. Just live life on the edge. Oh god, we got spinnerets. Well, spiders are gonna be really down with us now, that's good. While spinning, you leave webs as you move. We have a plus six to forced movement. 
We cannot get stuck. So webs don't mean anything to us. And we got some good rep with arachnids. Oh well. We got we got some lame ones, but What's this coming out of my ass? You're a spider, boss. You're a spider too, you know. You're part of me. Let's see. Oh, yeah, we have We're got to be careful cuz we will just automatically attack walls now. We might start saving up some uh, mutation points for leveling up now. But part of me just, I want to keep rolling the dice on new mutations. See if we can get lucky, get some good stuff. Alright. Well, let's head down. Surface is cleared out. Time to do a little murdering down below. See that? Slapped him in the head. He got dazed. Bang, bang. We're on used on battery right now. There he is. Only average. Ooh, we're gonna get wrecked with Kakukia. One of my favorite towns, Hedonists. All the people that were gonna... He, he's only disliked by folks. This is great for us. Wind presses a sun-bleached thorb and neck dressed against a humanoid form. The fabric is embroidered to rhyme with patterns in the salt. Walk without rhythm. Oh, nice bubble, loser. Think that's gonna help you? Fool! I could hit you if you put me in the corner like this. Let's get the, uh, thing up. Injured. Stunned. Like, I know he's not moving. I know I'm not moving. If I need to eat Witchwood, it'll be super easy. That's just good free rep for me. These are groups I want to be cool with. Nice. What did he have? The force bubble on bathes upon oil snaps off. He dies. All the rep stuff. Did he not? Did he not have anything? He had a bronze dagger, and that's it. Wow. The old leader's already dead. Line up! While traveling through Mickish Roost, Shadats II stopped at a tavern in Habava Moraz. Excuse me. There she lost her prized Philosophicalicus. Philosophicalicus. Philosophica. Philosophicalicus. The ruin of worms. In a foolhardy bet, she cursed the tavern and left Habava Moraz. Well, we want to go there now, and we want to find the ruin of worms. I wonder what that is. There's no hints in that title. Hell yeah, another glow sphere. Those those trade real good. Basic toolkit. Disassemble. I should have marked a scrap first, but I'm sure we'll find more. Take the shotgun shell. You know, just take all. In 5145 BR, Shadats II assassinated the Sultan of Qad over the sanctioned persecution of scholars. She won and proclaimed herself Sultan. She was 63 years old. Ah, uh, hell, I also... So we forgot a couple of things in the Six Day Still. I had additional Reshef stuff we could have uh, traded in for free experience. We're definitely going to have to go back. Strange tubes, huh? 
<gasps> Mechanical wings! Right on the back, baby. Hell yeah. That's a find right there. That's a good find. There were no stairs down, right? Yep, perfect. All right, so here's what's gonna happen. Gonna have a quick little snacky poo. And then we're also going to... I remember seeing some bed rolls. Because it is nighttime right now. We'll go until dawn, alright. Up the stairs we go. Some casual murder, nothing, nothing to worry about. So yeah, it seems like roads might lead to points of interest like this. So when we see a road, we should uh, maybe give it a little follow. Maybe we'll try finding our first dawn glider. Dawn gliders suck, but if we can kill it from far away, huh? not too shabby. Oh yeah, you know what? We leveled up at some point. We probably have points to spend. We can finally get tactful, which will get us some bonus rep. And then I want trash divination, because then we could find extra points of interest. After that, though, I believe our main goals are going to be combat oriented. It's going to be a lot of bow and rifle and long blade after this. And maybe some stuff that'll help us stay alive down in that categories. Getting some better armor would be nice too. Got a pump action shotgun? That could be fun. Alright, well back to our travel montage. Hello? Shem Riva. Once again, we want to be wary of dawn gliders. One a decent distance away from us is one thing. Multiple close by would be quite another. Alright, nothing outside. Take advantage of the fact that I can just dig through walls now. Not great at digging through walls, but it works. You spent all night doing that, you dumb idiot. All right, let's just auto explore. I don't need to rip the walls apart. Iron buckler, sure, copper. You know what? Take all. Pretty sure this character knows to automatically dig through things. We do have a buckler equipped, right? What is it? An iron buckler? Iron buckler. Well. Yeah, we are pretty poorly kitted out at the moment. Drop that dog glider corpse. Hmm, solar cell in there. I would love to do a two-handed, but I'm holding on to a glow sphere. And there's no way I'm going to min-max myself enough that I'm going to like, all right, unequip the glow sphere, it's daytime. Or, oh, there's torches here. Like, not gonna happen. I'm too lazy. What we got in trinkets? Folding chairs. Tree to scrap. Disassemble. Disassemble. We'll hold on to one. Just in case we want to sit down. I suppose if we're going to peek underground, it's okay if it's nighttime. Just a quick peek. There could be a million dog gliders down here. We don't know. Salty water. Alright, so far... Oh, I heard, heard robot noise.
Real shame what happened to you, Bear. I feel your pain. What kind of minds do you- Oh... Sweet Jesus. We are out of here. Mr. Nullworm? Just gonna put this out there. There could be high explosive mines on the floor. And I don't feel super confident in my character's intelligence to think we're gonna find them. Whoop, hold on, hold on. Travel montage! Hold on! Oh. He's a mechanimous convert. He's cool. We worked together to kill that. He was pretty chill. A road, though. You know, we were just talking about this. Let's peek down. We'll follow the road just for a couple of screens. Just out of curiosity. We'll follow in the other direction, because the other direction is at least going where we're going. Okay. Webtoad is a Kari Raider. Guessing these are like slimy versions of them, right? Kind of kind of froggy people. They don't appear to like the goose. Is that a normal Isakari over there? Yeah, he's not webtoed. He lost to the goo? Pathetic. Alright, montage again. I mean, it's just a bunch of free stuff on the ground. Look at all the garbage. Rifle, rifle, rifle. Man, I wish we had trash divination. This could have been a sweet collection of garbage. Honey. Reserve. Whip up a meal. Quick nap. Alright, we've hit the canyons. We got two parasangs of canyons before us and our destination. With our borrowing claws, the canyons might not be as annoying as they usually are. We could just dig through them. I don't like this tunnel. We're on very low. We're gonna we're gonna be empty soon on our turbo. Our electro bow, man, I keep saying turbo. I keep talking about that cool snail from that movie. Here we go, a road. Let's follow this. Civilization has been here. Maybe some people I could relate to. One of these weird freaks. Oh, I guess I'm a freak now. I'm no freak. Maybe you're a freak. We're all freaks here. I'm glad we're bleeding to death. It means you two die. Killing snapshots makes me feel good. Mm. Nothing like hearing their weird little dog like chirps as they go down. 
You're getting dark, man. Ow. Morla Narolaleb, the cantankerous. Loved by turtles, disliked by the folks of the Elad Sorrow, hated by the Gyrewites. Huh. What's my rep with turtles in general? Maybe we can get turtles to like us one day? But if it's kind of low, I think we're just gonna, you know, murder it and see if we can be better. F yeah, like Gyre Whites were at zero. We could start bringing that up. Who else dislike them? Tortoises are at zero. Why do you hate me so? I mean, he's loved to buy. It's gonna be like a minus 200. Hmm. I mean, I don't want to fight this many turtles. Which would Bark get? Yuckweed, get. Turtles are slow, I'm fast. Peace. Peace out. Pause just to murder a couple of... Snap jaws? Yeah! Oh, Crundle has some aggression pent up. And there's nothing for that quite like murdering dozens and dozens of snap jaws. Just bad snap jaws, obviously. If you're if you're a snapshot based VTuber and you happen to be watching this, obviously you are not. Not to be murdered? Salve injectors! <gasps> oh, glorious. All right. Maybe we should try and find therapy. You don't know what therapy is. Shut up. Talking like you know me. I grow out of your hand. He does grow out of your hand. Is that a slug snout? Two-headed, that's fine. Back to auto-exploring this place? Alright. <clears throat> How we doing? Eh, if we go directly to the right, it's gonna be a little while of, you know, terrain I hate. Mmm, just... Obliterate the snap jaws. Auto-explore. Just because there's a lot of garbage on the floor, we can get some nice, nice bits. Well, hold on, hold on. Some robes, bronze stuff. I mean, they're snap jaws, so let's not even bother, right? Have a quick little meal. Back to auto exploring. Changed my mind about auto exploring. Let's just travel to the right. I found most of the garbage I was looking for, I think. Off we go. Iron 11th Quash. Oh, whoa, whoa, someone has, like, a gun? Okay, here's what's gonna happen. I need it to be daytime. Oh, it's harvest off. All right, the sun's coming up. Who was shooting at me? Get, definitely get. Did the dragonflies kill them off? Thank you, dragonflies. What's this? Wooden wind turbine. All right, let's auto explore. Whoever had that gun earlier actually had me a little worried. Yeah, let me show you mine. 
magic. Arrow, vine wafer. You know what? Take all. Oh, that's a lot. All right, let's reload it. Afo Ahobomu. Stalwart. I'm sorry. I don't think you're uh, long for this world. Despised by Snapjaws. But the villagers of Tumu like me more, and the villagers of Dora Lep like me more. If you didn't want to get murdered, you shouldn't have killed my family. I'll kill every Snapjaw I see. In 5588BR, Shaddat's appointed a corrupt administrator as Minister of Nabal. He mandated the practice of hoarding amethysts in Shaddat's name. Nice. Copper nugget, I'll take that. Leave the rest behind. <clears throat> On the anniversary of a great battle, a scholar found a babe with its mouth full of clockwork tools outside of its academy. He and his fellow scholars adopted the babe and named it sh named her Shaddat's the second. What's that you got in your mouth? What do you have in your mouth? Open, open. Take all. Which I assume means I disassembled all. Yishof, Yishosher Grove. Oh, it's just someone's farm. Wow, I wonder if they have a sexy daughter. Sorry, the apple farmer's daughter thing in this game always makes me giggle a little bit. It's so weird. There he is. Hello, sir. See my whiskers? Star apples, the boost of reality threefold. Don't you touch my daughters. Strange furniture. Examine. Disassemble. I should have said treat a scrap instead. Get. Uh, Urban Nostrum Injector, hell yeah. Hot damn. Oh, Fungus Patch. We're almost there. Nighttime, let's, let's maybe rest on this screen, shall we? Feel like we could trust this man. Keep us safe. A grit gate recoiler? Hell yeah! Magnus has boots. Bronze battle axe. Frowning moon mask. Well, it gives us a little DV. Lord knows we have some faces. Oh yeah, we're, we're popping in here specifically to... You know what else? Hold on. Remove the cell. Remove the cell. Remove the cell. So stun rods. We're gonna say treat these as scrap. Disassemble them. Cool. Let's get all the other batteries out. Nothing with batteries inside of them. Is it gonna be... It's probably one of the, the shaky ones. Little shake weight ones. Yeah, fidget cell. I don't know why. <laughs> Couldn't remember fidget cell. So instead, shake weight cell. Sleep until dawn. Have breakfast. All 
All right, lizards are chill. Mushrooms are chill, quote unquote, but doesn't mean we're gonna walk next to any mushrooms. That's for goddamn sure. A lava weep is kind of nice. Dude, you could take pot shots at me if you want. You see? You see what happens? You made the lizard angry. Now you gotta fight that lizard. Alright, not a fungal patch. Watch those horses just beat a pig and a turtle to death. Not my problem. We're in the south. That means this is the southwest. Snap jaws! What? What are you doing here? This ain't your region. Just wanted a quiet place to heal. Not gonna pick a fight with those things, though. Goat folk and me! We don't have any troubles yet. It's only a matter of time, of course, but... For now, let's relish the fact that we don't have to fight them. When we have to travel through jungles, it's gonna get... it's gonna get rough. Alright, we know the slums are in the center. We're in the southwest, so down and right. Leave me alone. Alright, just an average go folk. Swipe them. That worked out well. Come here, bear. I went down too much. We are in the southwest. I need to go up and right. Me, good with directions. Excuse me, kitty cat. A witchwood tree I could actually harvest from? Nice. God, slug snouts? I hate slug snouts. Use tree cover to our advantage. I thought spiders were cool with me. Did I? I was resting. How did I get there? I hit the rest button. What? I am not in so sure slums, guys. I promise you. Where where even am I? I should be I have to go up, right? Oh lordy. Electrical discharge. Where's my sprint button? Nine. Naftali, not a big deal. But in big groups, can be a problem. God damn it. You know what? We have salve injectors now. Medicine. Oh, tonics, tonics. Mm. Just do a little circle around like this. Okay. We are in the west. We want to go just to the right, and we'll be in the Sashur slums. 
which the game already credits me for having found, which is definitely not true. Take the glow sphere, because that's good money. I just picked up bloody chain mail. I'm wearing slime stain chain mail. Drop the bloody chain mail. Tempted to go back just to try and kill the robot. Neutral. And you're a trash? No, you're a scribe. Hello. Plenty of books. Corpus Colas, 166, though. I can get that way cheaper later on. Can't believe Naftali are considered average right now. We are weak. Acting against the prohibition of practice of cleaving skulls, Dorixis led an army to the gates of Old Tubal. He freed its citizens, and in his honor, they thenceforth called it Dorixis Bad. Where do you think Louis Naftali got off to? Found him. Is it considered just average? Perfect. Ring mail, camel bladder, carbide battle axe, carbide battle axe. Take some pot shots at you, and then when you get close, we swipe, we discharge. And we take it down. Naftali tribe don't like us. Robots don't like us. Mysterious strangers like us, though. Ring mail. I'll take the camel bladder. Cool. Alright, and now I think we can get... Trash divination. So custom folklore, done. Don't need that anymore. We got a mutation point. We will only spend them when we have even numbers. For the simple fact that, you know... It's going to spend one the way we want, and one way we... just randomly? Gotta be kidding me. Woo! Being lit on fire is scary. Alright. I don't know how safe it is right here, but you know what? You see? That's what I'm saying. Gotta be careful. Wanna make sure you're safe when you do resting. Man, maybe I should auto-explore the screen. There's a good amount of witchwood bark. And until we're able to make our own salve injectors, witchwood bark's gonna be pretty nice to have. So let's do it. No! Glad the chameleon also agreed that that guy sucked. Whoa, 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 what kind of landmines do you put down? I didn't get a look at you! Ah, uh, hell, you know what? That's fine, let's just get out of here. Well, there it is. Resonance, huh? Not a problem. Wait, flower fields? West. Right, right, we gotta go here. Here we go. What? Baboons don't like me? No. Oh, no, 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 no. It's, it's the cult of Dorixis. That's who doesn't like me. Bounce off that screen. Is that trash guy going after the go the goblins? 
the Babunsk. Oh, you're running because you don't have your friends with you? Shield slam him. Swipe him. Owies. What up, baboon? Uh, unshelled reptiles are now indifferent to me. Antelopes like me better. Doing some good work in the, uh, the rep department. Man, I hate baboons. Having them be the predominant cult members is gonna be such a bummer. Oh, so many named baboons, too. Disliked by apes. Awesome. I look forward to getting more rep with apes because I killed apes. Come on, Seven Ring Baboon Queen. You've been shot quite a bit. Be nice if you died. Nice. Fuck the Pudus Templar. We don't want to be friends with them anyway. When we run into normal baboons, we're gonna be uh, in in the good with them. But these cultist baboons are a different story entirely. I am not exploring this place in the dark. Drop the bedroll. Sleep until the harvest dawn. Hello. Just a nice, neutral chameleon. Excuse him, quoi? Fuck, I saw you. Hey! We're gonna get, uh, some grazing hedonist fun. Fun, fun. <laughs> Went into a weird loop while I tried to cough. Rep was all I was trying to say. Fuck me. That's what we were trying to avoid have happen. That's what I saw in the shadows. And I was like, that's bad. Okay. Yeah, throw rocks. I'll continue to shoot you. Mmm. Favored by grazing hedonists now. Hide in the corner while I heal. I am a little, a little hungry. Didn't I have a campfire over here somewhere? Eh, close enough. Alright, back into the thick of it. A lot of baboons we have to kill. Gonna get a lot of rep. Uh, you know what? Sting that baboon. Shield slam that baboon. Swipe that baboon. Discharge on that baboon. Do almost no damage with all of those things. Back up a little bit while we take pot shots. That's right. Villagers of Makesh like me more. Right, hide in the corner while we heal. You want me, chameleon? So many baboons! 
Good lord. Come here, you. Ah, oh, come on. Figured one was going to try that. Come at me. Best you got? Shield slam. Swipe. Reload the bow. like me more <coughs> hey you'd freehold <coughs> nice heal this is a bit of a drag out fight we got going on a lot of baboons oh shit All right, tumble pod solved. Whoo! Can I be done fighting baboons now? I've been doing it for days. Like literally, it's nighttime again in the game world. How many baboons have I killed since I got here? Get get out of my face. A lot of baboons. That's the answer is a lot. I guess that wasn't a friendly eel. My targeting didn't didn't slow down for you at a moment when that thing got selected. There's another tumble pod in there somewhere. I've been doing a perimeter sweep for so long now. I'm going in. I would love to auto explore, but you know, after all the baboons are dead. Ah, screw it. Auto explore. More hammer, ignore it. Come at me! Come here! I'm so sick of baboons. Sick and tired of baboons. Been killing them for ages now. And we know there's only gonna be more of them when I go downstairs. Okay, not bad. Oh, little baboon clutch. They were hiding in here. Thankfully, baboons are below me to such a degree that auto explorer will often just auto kill them. It's a little different when they are purples, though. Ah, uh, trees are indifferent to me now. That's right, level 15, baby. Oh, an excited state. Uh, so double muscle was really good. I'm thinking we're gonna excitedly level up electrical generation. Mmm. Succulents like me more. Vines are indifferent to me. The sect of the ruby and fuchsia like me better, too. Don't know who they are, but cool. 
I'll take it. God damn, look at this mess. You know, I forgot we were supposed to keep this open so that we could enjoy combat logs, but having a full screen's nice too. I'll, I'll try to remember to bring it up when we're actively in combat. Man, that's what I was just looking for. Just while this dude's staring at me. Injured, wounded, badly wounded, dead. Hell yeah, Merchant's Guild. Hell yeah, Tortoises. Hell yeah, Villagers, come here. This has been great for my reputation. These baboons, not liked by anybody. You guys got a bad name, which is gonna make me a good name. Take the books, take the books. Just straight up ignoring. Take the arrows, leave the axe. Another purple, huh? Tried to trick me, did you? Mark targets eight. Swipe him. Discharge him. Ooh, villagers, come here. Favor me. I'm merely disliked by the Pudus Templar now. Even though, fuck the Pudus Templar. But the villagers of Koko. Kagawar. They like me a little bit less. Oh, I want to name my Electro Bow? Hmm. Gotta name it based on its qualities, not on the qualities of the baboon. Crundle's Electric Rifle. That sounds like something I would do, yeah. We'll make it yellow. Wet Crundle's Electric Rifle. Oh, we kept the wet part in there? Come on. Don't make me use Wet Crundle's electric rifle. In one AR, a chef closed the gates of the Tomb Leaders, abdicated the throne, and dissolved the Sultan in order to lift the curse of the Gaia. In two AR, Rebecca died a glot rot, and on her deathbed, Reshef forgave her and absolved her of sin. He allowed her to be buried in the village of Ezra, outside the gate of the Tomb Leaders and beneath the shadow of the spindle. One night under the beetle moon, a babe was found swaddled in the mouth of a she-wolf with a commanding hammer in each hand. <laughs> The baby became known as Dorixis. What a badass baby. In 6 the Irish chef, the above, ghost and cerulean, the coiled lamb of beetles, died of natural causes. He was 216 years old. Oh my god, we finally done killing baboons? Merely on <coughs> Merely on the surface, I'm sure. Equip these on my hands. There we go. That got me some AV. God, god damn. Let's see. Gotta, I gotta gauge time here. Because I do have a stream coming up. I don't think we're gonna be able to finish every floor of this. Oh my god. Shield slam that baboon to death. Yeah, trees. Yeah, villagers of Marsipur. Yeah, stay lined up like that. Oh, baby. Pair of sandals. Leather cap. I got probably another head, right? A hat, no arm, skull, full right arm it. Never mind, we got hats on everything. Oh yeah, we have an attribute point we could spend. Uh, into 21 is nice. 
Agility's at 24. Let's consider things we're looking to have. And bow and rifle, if we want to get, like, some really nice stuff. 29 agility's pretty high, but 25 seems manageable. And long blade. Some more strength. 29 strength, 23 agility, or 29 agility, 23 strength. I feel like now that we know we only have one arm, long blade's pretty sweet. One arm. We have we have two arms. But like, we're probably gonna be doing single weapon fighting at this point. Whenever you score a critical hit with a melee weapon while single weapon fighting, the cooldown of two random weapon or shield skills are immediately refreshed. Yeah, there's some nice stuff in here. <clears throat> I think we're going to be a single weapon fighter. Double muscled is... Every melee attack. So, like, it's really good for multiple weapons, but even single weapon fighting will be, will be doing some good work, I think. We'll probably put more levels in double muscled as we go as well. That said... One more point, I get a point of strength here. So let's put a point into double muscles. There we go. Increases to three. Cool. We put both points in the double muscle there by mistake. 25% chance. One in four chance to daze an opponent. Not bad. To head, we're going to ignore height and quickness. We might put points in. Uh, we've already gone over this. I don't need to keep talking about it. That said, my attribute point, now we're at 23 strength. We'll get more points in strength just thanks to double muscles. I think I'll put another point into agility. Accuracy with melee and ranged weapons. Make us better at hitting some stuff. <clears throat> 25 agility. Lunge might be nice, but we only have 100 points. Let's go with a uh, single weapon fight. Critical hits with melee weapons. We'll immediately get some refresh stuff. That seems good. Whenever you make a melee attack while single weapon fighting, there's a 50% chance you immediately make a second attack for free. So we definitely want weapon expertise. Melee attacks always penetrate one extra time. Yeah, this is a very good tree for us. Single weapon fighting is toggled to on. And we only have one weapon in our hand. Man, I really wish we had a floating glow sphere. Or the means to hold on to it without wasting our weapon. Because I would love to have a two-handed weapon right now. I feel like that would go quite well with our current setup. Take all. Not friendly. This is like shooting fish in a barrel. Both the fish and the monkeys. Choo, choo. Farm a scaled lice, but better. Pew, 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 pew. Mmm. Do some auto exploring. Ooh, got a lair of a legendary dragonfly. Dragonflies are pretty chill with me, so that's a nice opportunity for chatting with somebody who may, in fact, then give us some good rep. <clears throat> get the schema soft. Get the navigation implant. Get the fire suppression system. This was a slum? Some nice stuff for a slum here. Slum for cyborgs? 
You've desecrated the statue of an implanted eater. I mean, I didn't want to do it, but Auto Explorer was like, you know what, the shortest point. <laughs> really, nowhere else to explore? Really? You destroyed a statue. Weren't willing to do that? No, oh, I guess he just knew. Smarty pants. Alright, a little bit further down. Whoa, 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 whoa. That wasn't even because... No, alright. I was just curious. Uh, you know what? Before I go down there... Reserve, eat a meal. Hop back up. Nice single file hallway, baby. Ah, Mapongo like me more. This village. Ah, oh, man. This has been great. People are going to be like, you're that guy that killed all those baboons. I'll be like, yeah, I am. That's right, it's me, Crundle, Bane of Baboons. Well, single file hallway once again. All right, shield slam, swipe. Discharge. He's still alive, but he's badly wounded. I will keep myself alive with a nice salve injector. Actually, you know what? They're directly in front of me. Where's medicine? Eat some witchwood bark. <laughs> yeah, man, spiders are gonna love me now. Okay. Pew, pew, pew. Auto explore this floor. Copper nugget. Leave the buckler behind. Take a book. Take a look. I've got a book. I pooped a rainbow. Hey guys, what a cool single file hallway. There's so many name baboons. This is disgusting. Whoa, I'm on fire. One of those baboons must be psychic. Whoa! Go ahead and use a salve injector now. And eat a little witchwood bark. There we go. One down. Those villagers and those apes and those villagers all like me. One of them's hitting me with energy bolts. Carbide hammer, jewel encrusted, engraved weird artifacts. They, they're using an electro bow. They're doing a great job with the electro bow, in fact. I got a marked target. Getting a little dicey here. Eat the herb berry. Wounded, badly wounded. Dead, finally. Favored by apes. 
Oh my god, everyone loves me. Where'd that other purple baboon go? You trying to sneak around me? He was trying to hide, that's for sure. My god. Ooh-wee! I know there's a nest over here. Yep, there we go. You could just tell. Only humanity's dying. Ring mail, I'll take the nugget and the nugget. Leave the ring mail behind. Gershling? Get out of here. Take all. This has been weirdly profitable in a way I wasn't expecting. In that it's been profitable for reputation. We've made a lot of progress in rep for a lot of groups that I don't think we would have otherwise found access to. At Starfire's Quay, where Chef consulted with Mysterious Strangers and learned the secrets of the Gaia. By cause of the misdeeds of the Elder Sods and the Sultan, star beings had levied a curse on God, which Chef vowed to make right from this wrong and redeem our doomed world. I'm sorry, hold on. See, it's better. Oh, because I'm, I'm down with vines now. Oh, hold on. Stop, 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 stop. We've uh, gotten a lot of stuff. Zero pounds in ammunition. Some magnetized boots. We got two pairs. I'll disassemble one pair of it. Leather apron. Drop that on the floor. I have a face that could use a mask, I guess. Uh, trinket? A sphere of negative weight, hell yeah! Electrified engraved steel vine reaper? Flaming steel dagger? Steel kukri? Freezing steel dagger? Battle axe? Carbide sword? Electrified Sturdy Steel Longsword. Freezing Hand Axe. Uh, I guess both drained ones will disassemble. Very low will disassemble. Grenades, Glow Spheres. A lot of melee weapons to look through. A lot of them are for selling. So currently I'm using... Just uh, a six penetration 1d4 weapon. Pathetic. Terrible. I could have swapped to something better a while ago, I bet. A flaming carbide longsword. Now that seems way better. Seven penetration 1d8 damage. Once I get a floating glow sphere, we'll really be in the business. Function, also legs. A decorative pot. Finish our auto exploring here. Well, he's trapped in there, so that's not my problem. More books for me. What kind of mines do you lay? EMP. Not that big a deal. All right, auto explore. Take all. Keep auto exploring. Cool. We already found the downstairs. But I think, yeah, we got a few more things here. 
Oh man. We picked it up, but I guess because it was unexamined. So I guess let's look at it again. In 5549BR, Shadat's Ruby and Fuchsia died of natural causes. He was 82 years old. We're gonna wanna look at some of our engraved stuff that I recently identified. <clears throat> Quick look. While wandering around Quashan, Shadat's the second stone upon a clan of vines forming a secret ritual. Because of a reputation for murdering someone by writing him out of the annals of history. God damn, they furiously rebuked her and declared her a villain to their kind. Just wrote them out of history. Murdered them that way. I guess they had one of those uh Schrodinger's pages. God damn. So the trick is, if we look at a thing and exit out and it doesn't say we wrote it down, we know it wasn't new. And we don't have to go back and reread it. Alright, that one we have to read. While traveling through Mikish Roost, Derixie stopped at a market in Habava Morass. At an obscure shop, he purchased a mighty axe named it Mighty Derix's Boon. Then he went to a nearby tavern and lost it in a foolhardy bet. He cursed the tavern and left. That's the Electrified Vine Reaper, and that's it. There we go. We've examined all the bits. We've auto-explored. And even though we're only on floor two, this probably goes down to floor five, maybe even deeper. We haven't found any of the relics yet. But we're going to call it here because I have to go get ready to stream. So, if you're enjoying Crundle's adventures in body horror and exploring Cud by walking only, then be sure to hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe so you can come on back for more. As always, comment below with kinds of stories you like in Caves of Cut. What kind of adventures have you been on? What's the wildest thing you've seen? And are there other games you would like to see me do weird playthroughs of? Let me know. Here's some more stuff for you to check out on screen. Come hang out in the stream when you got time. Say hi in Discord. And if you want to support me, hit me up on the Patreon. And as always, play the games you love. Say hi to your loved ones, pet your pets, and I'll see you later. Bye, bye, bye.